right, <clears throat> here we are coming into Scarlet Sage. You're probably not going to see much of this because the, the sun, I think, is in the wrong direction. Not any landscaping here. Uh, in fact, there's concrete in front of part of the, the front. Anyway, uh, the house itself on the outside looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, coming in here, it's almost all tile. Dining room here on the left-hand side and then walking just slightly beyond a bedroom which is a pretty good sized room. This is right at the front of the house and probably would function more like a den or an office but it's a good sized room probably outside the master the biggest bedroom in the house and here's the kitchen pantry behind this door not a whole lot of counter space certainly not as much as Scarlet Sage, but then this, uh, I mean, as a uh, trumpet tree, but then this is not the house that uh, trumpet tree was, is. You can see it's been shown a ton of times. And this is the living room, family room. They all, uh, it's all, all one room. <clears throat> not a bad size, but uh, certainly nowhere near the space that uh, the other one has. Laundry room here. Seem to be pretty good appliances. They're Maytags. Here's the garage. Sorry, there's not a lot of light in uh, in here. Maybe we can turn this up a bit. You can get a sense there of uh, what's going on. You know, clean, standard size garage. So let's go back here and uh, head to the rest of the house. Sorry for that little thing. <clears throat> And here's the master. Looks like it's got new carpet. Um, you see those little tufts of stuff that <laughs> all installers seem to leave behind. Uh, so it's new Berber-style Berber carpet. Um, not a big room, as you can see on the dimensions. Um, just the one window, so it's a, a bit dark. Bathroom here. Dual sinks. Flat, standard, white Formica cabinets and counter. The, uh, the tub and the shower over here are both surrounded by uh, kind of cheap plastic uh, looking, it looks like tile but it's really not, it's fit plastic sheets. Um, so again, swinging around that thing, coming out the master. And let me head across the, the house to the other two bedrooms. There's the one in the front, it is a bedroom because it's got a closet, and then the master, that's two, and then there are two over here. Uh, you know, decent size, not huge. I think the sheet says there's something like 11 by 12 or something. There's some water damage over there under that window in the baseboard. I don't, or some damage, I should say. I'm guessing it's water damage from some kind of a prior leak, uh, but that'll need to be looked at. And then also a bath here, same sort of surround that we saw in the other one, single sink. And then the fourth bedroom, which again is not a bad size. So um, often what happens when you have a small house here and a number of bedrooms, like four bedrooms, what you sacrifice is the space in the, in the bedrooms. And all of these are pretty good size. It seems in this one what we're sacrificing is the space in the public areas. Uh, the living room, dining room, family room that we're... Well, no, there's a dining room in the front. But the living room, family room here is quite a bit smaller than the other. Of course, it's priced less, too. Outside, decent size lanai. Uh, under cover, it extends a little bit beyond there into the sun. <clears throat> pool is small, but how, how big do you need? The deck appears to be in pretty good shape. And, uh, you know, somewhat overgrown in the back here. Really not a lot of landscaping uh, on this house. But you can see the house behind there. That's as close as it's ever going to get. That's, uh, you know, I guess green space in the, uh, in the middle there. So that's this house. It is definitely not the house that... Uh, Trumpet tree is, but it is in somewhat better shape, maybe more than somewhat better. Uh, so it wouldn't require the amount of work. 
So I am finished for now. I will go to the office and ship these off.